Let the San Diego Arab Film Festival put a spell on you. I put a spell on you. This year, the festival showcases the diversity of the Arab world with films from Palestine to the Sudan to Morocco. Better stop the things you do. The opening night film is Najwa Najjar's Bewitching Between Heaven and Earth. The story is, it's a love story about divorce. A 30-something couple living in the West Bank get permission to travel to Israel to finalize their divorce. But the court insists on additional documents about the husband's late father, a famous intellectual revolutionary. And this sends them off on a road trip of discovery, says Palestinian filmmaker Najwa Najjar. They rediscover themselves and they discover the country as well that they have been in many ways divorced from. So it's divorce on many levels, it's love under occupation, it's our lives in many different ways. It's also a view of Palestinian life that may challenge the stereotypes that American movies and media present, especially with the recent flare-up of violence between Israel and Palestine. I'm really happy that a film which tackles Palestinians throughout the whole country, something that is very different than what is seen on uh, TV, what is seen in uh, just news clips, which is just violence, so that we see the real people and how real lives are at stake. And so with everything that's going on now back home, it's, I think it's very, very appropriate. And I'm very pleased. Palestinian films like Between Heaven and Earth and the closing night film 200 Meters often face challenges getting distributed in the U.S., says Larry Christian, co-chair of the San Diego Arab Film Festival. They often rely on film festivals. So yeah, that's part of our interest is in presenting films that are, uh, that are hard to come by and that, you know, challenge audiences. And that challenge is to simply open your eyes to a different perspective. For Palestinian filmmakers like Najjar, it's about having a voice and creating an identity. So I think that there's getting over the fear and fighting images and fighting stereotypes. And I think that takes a lot of courage. And that was that is what has helped build the industry. And so it's having people tell the story in their voices, using whatever is available. Um, usually it's done with co-productions um, because it is, a, it is a budding industry. But there is, I mean, and I think there's, there's passion and there's a story and there's injustice. And I think when you have these issues and you have a weapon in your hand, which is a picture and a word and to put it together and put music to it, and let the world see another reality. I think that creates good cinema wherever you are in the world. In addition to the six features at the Arab Film Festival, there will be 16 short films showcasing even more diversity. There will be animated films from Qatar, as well as a documentary called Haunting the West by Michael Rokovitz that looks to how artifacts from other cultures get into museums. It was a museum, but it was also a crime palace. All the shorts will stream online, but the features will all be in-person events at the Museum of Photographic Arts. We really feel strongly that having an in-person film festival is important for the community and helps uh, enhance the identity of the community for itself and then in relation you know, to, to, the, to the larger community. So expand your cinematic horizons with the San Diego Arab Film Festival. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.